What's up, YouTube? JD Reacts. <clears throat> How y'all doing, man? Um, Got a reaction video for y'all today. But before we get into this reaction, y'all know what to do. Y'all know the deal, the usual. Subscribe to that channel. Smash that subscribe real quick for me. Um, Leave a like for this video. Um, So, yeah, we just gonna get straight into it, man. Um, So, basically, we got... No jumper interview with Almighty Suspect um, and a few others. Um, I don't know who uh, these people is. Um, I don't think Adam in here. But basically, the the No Jumper staff. You know what I'm saying? The No Jumper squad. You know the people. That's a part of No Jumper. I'm gonna say that because I don't know all these people. Watch No Jumper interviews a lot, but I don't know the, all the cast, all the you know, staff, all the people featuring, I don't know, but we just gonna get straight into this interview, um, so basically, I'm assuming they're gonna be talking about the kill piece situation that occurred, I don't know if you guys seen that, y'all can go back on my channel, um, made a reaction on that, <clears throat> the little kill piece incidents with Almighty Suspect and, um, Adam22, or you can search it on YouTube somewhere, it's still viral on YouTube all over, you know, Jumper, uh, all over other people's channels, you know, you know, it's, it's posted, so you know, it's up on YouTube if you want to go look back at it. Because I don't want you guys confused or anything like that, not knowing what's going on. It's best to go back and watch the video and see it first if you have it. But I'm quite sure all the people that's viewing this video and already seen that <clears throat> that situation transpire. So we just going to get straight into the video, y'all. Um, Yeah, so let's, let's hear what they got to say. Let's hear what they got to talk about. What's the deal? Welcome back to the Monday show. The whole cast here. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, Almighty. Welcome back. Thank you for having me back, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Welcome I was back. sick, so I had to miss last episode, but shout out to Lush and Rob for holding it down. You came back looking like some Pepto Bismol. Let's go. Shout, oh, out, shout out to Colosso, Colosso Drip, you know. They got me with the custom. That shit clean. Gina on the back. I need one. Shout out fly to Colossal. Activities, fly girl activities. She looked like some. What's up? She looked like some chewed up bubble gum. That that got spit out and then it dried on the ground. Okay. We had on the uh, same outfit. I don't think we've ever worn the same outfit. No, I I wore like something similar last week. Colossal drip. Uh, like the like similar jacket with a C on it. Oh, okay, okay. C for what? Correct. Nah. <laughs> you got some ghetto shit on your shirt right now. Yo, this is something that like AD got me. Uh, like what this say? It's some Crips shit. Nah, I don't think it's Crips shit because like I ain't never read it yet though. North Dakota Crips in the building. North Dakota gang banging is crazy. No, uh, wow. they probably get it in over there. No, uh, two um, OTS shit members just got shot. They probably yeah. get it in. Over there. Huh? So like two OTF? No, sorry, it's an OTF member. Uh, like Low Dirk Mans. Uh, got shot and killed in and, North Dakota. Yeah, in like uh, my city, and like he actually killed the dude who like killed him. They killed each other. Yeah. Oh, so they're having a shootout. Yeah, man. So yeah. there's now been two murders in North Dakota in the past five years. Hey, get serious, <laughs> there, man. <laughs> Fuck your love. Love, 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 I ain't gonna lie, bro. That nigga fat as hell. Like that. <laughs> he taking up two seats. Like that. <laughs> Bro, that nigga probably so fat. His drawers, his ass eating up his drawers, and he went and he looked like he got thongs. Like that nigga so damn fat, bro. Like that nigga taking up two seats on the on the love sofa or couch, whatever you want to call it. That shit so fat. I mean, that nigga so fat, bro. You can, it's gonna be like a a, a seat print when he get up. Like it's gonna be. <laughs> When he get up off this seat after this interview, bro, it's gonna be a seat print. Like, it's gonna be a print. It's gonna be like a mashed down seat. And it's gonna just be stuck until he evaporate back. Like, that's what that nigga look like, bro. He just look like a glob with fabric on. Oh, hell no. Bro. Let's just like, really like mad murders up there. All right, bro. Let's just no jumper all star, right? Now. We're not even about to hold this shit on for another nothing. We ain't even about to have no transitions and all that. Let's talk about Almighty. What's up? Mangling niggas. Look. 
In all honesty, bro. bro it's like she, she dumb as hell, bro. Like, why you, you ain't have to say it like that. Like, you should have just said the fight. Like, that's nothing to brag about. Like, bro, you beat up a little ass nigga that was that didn't want to fight. Like, bro, that's nothing to brag about. I'm tired of people. That's like I like I don't care how nobody feel. I don't care almighty suspects see this video. I don't care if no jump the whole number no jumper cast see this video. It ain't no way I'm about to I understand he called you out your name, bro. You felt disrespected. But bro, like you started it with the dude. You kinda like provoked him a little bit, you feel me? You can't just suspect. That's like if I talk shit to anybody, bro, they gon' and call anybody names. They're gonna call me names and talk about me back. That's like slapping somebody. Whether somebody know for a fact I can beat them up, they're gonna slap me back, bro. You're not, you can't just disrespect somebody in the same room and expect them not to retaliate. Whether it's with words, whether it's physically, like you, you just can't expect, unless somebody just a pushover, bro. Like I just don't condone that, man. You beat up a little ass nigga, bro, or a little ass, a little dude. That probably was 110, 120 pounds. And you bragging about that shit. Like, that's that's not cool, bro. That shit not cool, bro. You don't get no strikes for that shit. I want to apologize to No Jumper. Everybody here. And the staff. You feel me? Who was around. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit wasn't cool. That shit wasn't professional. You know what I'm saying? It was necessary. Because I'm not feeling like they call me a bitch. But that shit wasn't cool. You know what I'm saying? You had a place of business. You're supposed to uphold yourself to a certain standard. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. But, like... I'm not gonna just call me no bitch though. Oh, you came back with some media training? That's what your publicist told you to say? I don't got a publicist. You apologize to the street. niggas? I ain't got no publicist. <laughs> I, I, I She's so fucking public. dumb, bro. I don't like her, bro. I don't want to see her on the show no more. Publicist, a next next interview she got, bro. The next interview they do, I'm like, she on the interview, I don't want to watch that shit. Call me. I just don't like instigators, <laughs> bro. Like, I, it's okay to talk about it. Bring it up to somebody's attention, interview somebody, but you're a gossiping, like, bro, you lame as hell. To make like it never even happened. Happen. Shit, lame as hell. Then she dick sucking, like. Right. No, that's a legitimate but not, testament like, of know, growth right there. I'm not yeah. sorry to, to him, but I'm yeah, sorry yeah, to the yeah. fans and all the um all of the crew who is here. Any future guests that might want to come, you know what I'm saying? That, that, yeah. That's looking at them like, oh, they hella unprofessional up there. Nah, that was me, you know what I'm saying, being a high head and a nigga called me a bitch, so I just had to... I, I don't think that shit was cool though. You feel me? I, I just want to lay that out there. Like, I don't think that shit was cool. Like, but at the same time, if I could redo that shit, I I either wouldn't take the I, I wouldn't take the interview because I'm not gonna say I wouldn't do exactly what right, I did right, to right. him if you call me a bitch. Yeah. I just wouldn't do it at all. Now well, I, I want to start from the beginning. Yeah, I but, wanted to give a timeline. Yeah, yeah, but for the people but, who who don't know exactly what went down. But before we get into that, I do want to say, you being a currently active rapper. It kind of puts you in a very different position because I would have never not I would have never Probably. been able to live it down. Right, yeah. I would have always heard about that shit. Definitely, that wouldn't have went good. Even if even if slide. you were like, oh, okay, that's cool, but let's talk about it outside. It's still like, oh, I, he just got called a bitch. I couldn't win for yeah. losing. Yeah, right. I couldn't win for losing. That's why I would say the only way I could win was to not do the interview. I think everybody equally agreed that it was a lot, but at the same time, everybody understood. Right. Like the right. nigga but it's like, bro. But it's like, bro. I get what you saying, bro. But you started it, bro. Like, nigga, you started it. That dude, little Kelpie, ain't get on no. He he ain't get on no tough shit or disrespectful shit with you first, bro. You started. You started talking shit to him, bro. Like, I, like, don't think I'm trying to defend little Kelpie. I'm just speaking from a perspective on anybody it could have been or in general. You feel me, like. I just feel like if you disrespect anybody, bro, they're not going to tolerate that shit unless they're a pushover. Like, whether they not a fighter, whether, it, like, verbally, whatever, bro, they're not going to tolerate disrespect. You disrespected the nigga, the little nigga, you feel me? Like, <clears throat> nah, little Kelpie, he don't get his stripes either. I feel like if you call somebody a bitch, you're supposed to stand behind it. Like I said in my other reaction video, if you call somebody a bitch... You supposed to be ready to fight, you feel me? That's like if I call somebody a bitch, you feel me? I'm going to be ready to fight. And then it's like, it, it really ain't no excuse when it comes in. I can't respect Kelpie on, oh, I felt like I ain't had to get up or, bro, little Kelpie, it ain't about winning a fight or none of that. Even if you would have got your ass, like, even if you wouldn't have been able to get land one punch, if you would have got up and stood on business, bro, you would have been a real, 
you would have been a real nigga, you feel me? Like, nobody would have laughed at you. I mean, yeah, critics and, like, you know, people, haters or whatever. Not say hater, but I'm saying, of course, people are going to be like, you know, you got your ass beat. But, nigga, I'd rather, you know, get called off for getting my ass beat than called out not doing shit, you feel me? Like, and I kind of got the impression that he wasn't doing shit. He just sat there. Like, he didn't even get up. Like, dude fixed his mouth to spit on you, even if the spit didn't land on you. I don't know or not if it did. But somebody fixing their mouth to spit on you, that's the, that's spitting on somebody is, like, one of the biggest forms of disrespect. Like, somebody saliva. Like, you spit on people's grave. Like, this, like it's, just, it's just a biggest form of disrespect. Like, spitting on somebody is... I can't even explain it, bro. It's just, it's just a, it's just a big ass form of disrespect. Like it's the most disrespectful, dishonorable, degrading, insulting, um, thing you can do to somebody. You feel me? You're you're spitting on somebody. Like I rather I rather somebody hit me in my shit than spit on me, bro. Like. You feel me? I mean, I'm a rich hellier or a bow, but I'm saying if you spit on me, bro, it ain't gonna just be no fight, bro. I might damn near wanna kill you or go to war with you, like you feel me, like. But if you just hit me in my shit, it's just gonna be a regular fight. Like I'm just gonna, you know, we just gonna scrap it out. But if you spit on me, bro, like, nah, bro, that's like people don't understand how I feel about that shit. People don't understand how I disrespect for that. Even if the spit don't touch you, you, you spitting on me. Taking action to fix your mouth or attempting to do something like that, that's just disrespectful all the way around. Ain't nobody ever spitting on me. If they do, they not. They not gonna make it to tell, to tell the story, bro. Promise you. And with a whole different energy. Like, yeah. I'm always keep my, my, my same shit. You well, let's get the timeline. So, you in charge sat down with this 19 year old uh, quote unquote pimp from Orange County. Y'all had a conversation with him. Um, at some point, he went on a podcast called Drinks with Jinx. Shout out mm -hmm. to Jinx. Um, him and his manager said that they was coming up here with a very, very aggressive type of, of energy. They said they his, was walking in here on words. bullshit. They came. Which was actually filmed the day before. Before, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the day before. Mm -hmm. um, at some point, Adam asked you to come in and sit in on the interview. Boom, y'all sat down. There was a conversation that happened before the cameras came on. Can, can we get into that? Yeah, or? Go ahead. So o ODM Slim, who is, I, I don't know if he is currently Crit Max manager, but was was Crit Max manager at one point, now is managing this guy, uh, Lil Cal. Or he was at that moment. I don't know what he's doing right now. but Right. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> he... He approached you before mm -hmm. the No, interview. I approached him. Okay. Let's 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 set it straight. Let the record reflect. I approached him. Nobody approached me. I seen him sitting in the lobby. I approached him. But like And no, you known him before that, right? Now, I knew of him. That was my first time okay. meeting him. You feel me? Um and I just didn't like how from the previous interview they're like, Yeah, we finna come up there with force and we're gonna see if they keep the same energy. I didn't even see that shit. Until after the whole that situation, just like a few days. Yeah, ago. I didn't even see it before, so I'm like, oh, they came up here with with some intent, you know what I'm saying? So that's why his energy was different because he had he had slim with him. But I just didn't like how niggas came up here and said that they told me a a, a hundred something was gonna do shit to me. Didn't no nigga tell me a hundred nothing was gonna do nothing to me at all after the situation? What was niggas doing? Well, before we even get into that, what was the conversation about? Well, he had told me like. It was kind of, it, it was actually a good conversation. Like, I'm not gonna get up here and be like, yeah, nigga, I'm, it, I ain't gonna do none of that because that would be false. You feel me? We you had feel a, like he was trying to intimidate you. I felt like that was the, it wasn't, the the intimidation, it, it the, the conversation wasn't an intimidating conversation, but I get the point of you coming here, if you get me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You felt the energy. Yeah, but the, but the conversation wasn't intimidating. You know what I'm saying? Because by that point, he had some information about some, some 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 of my people, so that energy couldn't have been brought. So, what was the nature of the conversation? Then? It was um, it was more so. He kind of felt like um, I explained to him that like I don't get extra out um because I think I'm tough. I get extra out because I'm passionate about uh, uh about the shit that I say and I mean the shit that I say. You feel me? 
So I told him that, you know what I'm saying? And we got an understanding. He got more of an understanding than me. You know what I'm saying? Like, we could just say that, like, yeah. He got more of an understanding than me, but nobody told me what nobody was going to do to me. That's Kim. That's Kim. So you're referring to when he called in to uh, back on fit, mm -hmm. and he said that he told you that... That you know. a, a hundred Crips was, was, was going to come up here to be my eyes. Okay. False. So now you're sitting face to face with Kelpie. Y'all going back and forth. Mm -hmm. What in your mind, like, just came? What? How? What? So, what rage came over you that you just had to like just beat this boy up? It's cause the nigga called. Look, I, I swear to God, I gave him a chance to correct it when I got up and I said, "Who? What you say? What you say?" Cause yeah. I thought he was just using it as a phrase. Like you know how niggas be like, "Man, I'm flying the fuck. I'm, I'm flying hell, bitch. You see me? You got know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking it's one of those." And even if it was, he should have corrected it. You know what I'm saying? When the nigga but was he like, doubled down on yeah, when he doubled down three on three times, it, yeah, like yeah. I'm calling you a bitch. I just blacked out. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I didn't come up here to be like, oh, I'm this extra tough ass nigga, or I'm this super thug. I'm not that. I'm just not gonna let you call me a bitch. I'm just a, a man, and I'm gonna stand on that shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Nobody has ever seen a nigga disrespect me in person. It's a whole lot of false narratives. Like oh, why you why you didn't do this to whoopie whoopie whoop. Y'all have never seen nobody say something to my face disrespectful, ever. It's either been over the phone, on the internet, because I'm going to react. And I'm not saying this to invite no violence, no shit like that, because I ain't up here to do that, you know what I'm saying? We up here being professional. I'm, I'm coming on no jumper to better my life in general. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This shit a huge blessing, like, as a whole. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm not saying that to just be like, oh, yeah, nigga, I'm just this tough-ass nigga, but I'm just not going to let you call me a bitch. At that moment, being that you was um, sitting on the couch, I get what you're saying, bro. But you, you was calling him. It's like, bro, I just don't like hypocrites. You was calling little Kelpie, soft, pussy, bitch ass niggas on the sharp interview, and then you kind of had that same energy on the interview with you and Adam, with him, you and Adam. But bro, what about how y'all was disrespecting him and hauling him on short? What about how y'all was degrading him, calling him all type of insulting names, calling him and they making that nigga feel like less of a person, bro? Like, like bro, y'all really was like bullying that little nigga. You feel me, like, bro? And it's like, it's like I respect y'all if that's the type of energy y'all had with anybody else. But it's like y'all only had that energy with him because he a little dude. And he ain't seen like intimidating or about that life like that. Not saying little Kelpie a bitch or, you know, of course he ain't no thug. You know, you feel me? He ain't no thug or no, no fighter, no scrapper, or he ain't. He don't get busy. You know, you can see that in him clearly. But it's like he, uh, I could, he, he seemed like he, you know, he doing what he talking about. He hustling. He got the girls or whatever. You feel me? But he young as hell, like he only 18, 19 years old. When I was 18 and 19, I ain't really had shit like that. I ain't had no crib, barely had a car, you feel me? So the nigga still young, nigga still trying to find his way, you feel me? So it's like, you bully him, like, bro, I feel like I would respect y'all and I wouldn't have shit to say, nor anybody else would have shit to say to y'all. Y'all keep that same energy with with anybody else or any other person, bro. But y'all y'all just want to do, do like that, like Kelpie. That's how I feel about the situation. Like, and it is like you saying you're not glad I'm calling you a bitch, bro. Y'all literally disrespecting this nigga in the interview. He wasn't dis the sharp interview. He wasn't saying shit disrespectful. Like, he wasn't saying shit disrespectful to y'all. Y'all dogging him for a whole hour long. You feel me? Y'all calling him all type of names, bitches, with all that shit, a whole hour long. I wish I was on this interview, bro. I wish I was on a no jumper thing, bro. This whole con the whole conversation would it would it it would have just been different, bro. Like I would have been like, okay, how what about you calling him a bitch and calling him all that when you was with Sharp? You feel me? Like I don't I just don't like hypocrites, bro. Like I don't like double standard people. Next to Adam, Adam was in the room when it happened, and you know it kind of when I was watching it just from my own perspective, hearing you when you was like, I didn't even mean to do all that. Did you feel like a sense of regret? I did, and, and not for, um, it was so like, like, damn, nigga, like, you just, like, turned into the old you on, on camera, nigga, like, you supposed to be better than that mm -hmm. type shit, you know what I'm saying? Because people who know me from my past, they know, like, I've been 
You know what I'm saying? Like I, I've been in into street antics, so it's like I'm trying to come up here, leave that shit in the past type shit. To you be know honest what I'm with you, I feel like you were holding back. I was because me knowing you and I've seen you in certain situations. Like I feel like you were not hitting him with your full heart. I wasn't. I because I wasn't trying to do all of that. Like you know what I'm saying? Because you know me. You know me since I was a young nigga. Like right. That shit was extremely light. I just had a a, a, a lapse of judgment. You know what I'm saying? Like. But at the same time, you just can't call me no bitch, bro. Like, but I get it. We're in a place of business, you know what I'm saying? This is a podcast, there's millions of subscribers. Like, you doing too much, it's a bad look overall. You know what I'm saying? For all of us. That's why I got up here and was like, a nigga wanna apologize mm-hmm. just in case anybody who do wanna come through here and they feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, that's not what we about up here, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we not gonna let no guests come in here and disrespect no work. Period. Now, like like you said, we know each other for a Long time since you was yay high and I was off of yay high. Fact. Now, with that being said, he got a bar for every since you. He, he still. That's just the go. Th- 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 this fool still has in his mouth like he's still a bitch. Like he's still he's still running getting, his mouth. Right. Yeah. Because afterwards he was like, I didn't even mean to do all that. Da 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 da. And Kevin was like, You still a bitch. You you was a bitch. And that was in the moment. Cause yeah. I'm not but a bully. You you feel yeah, me? Yeah yeah. Like I'm not no bully. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I just reacted. Off of anger, like I'm not no bully though. Because if that was the case, I bro, you is a bully, dumbass nigga. You is a bully. That's what the fuck you just did, bro. I, let me not say nothing, bro. You are a bully. You and sharp. I don't give a fuck, bro. Y'all niggas is bullies. Y'all niggas are bullies, bro. And you two, please don't copy strike. Don't report this video, bro. I'm just, I, I got the freedom of speech, bro. And I feel like I should. I should have the ability to state my opinion on the situation. It's a reaction video, so don't copy strike me. Don't report this video. Don't do none of that. Let me, let me, you know, let me speak my, let me speak my mind about the shit. You feel me? But it's like, bro, you are a bully, bro. Like that dude was too little. That's like me. That's like I'm 22 years old. That's like me fighting a 16 year old. Or like that shit wouldn't be a fair fight, bro. Now it's probably a 16 year old that can probably whoop my ass. Probably a 16 year old that know that's a black belt in karate or something. Or his, his dad a professional boxer like it might be but but I'm not about to go around bullying I'm not I'm gonna pick somebody my size and my age bro I understand he disrespected you but bro you disrespected him you can't disrespect nobody and expect not to get the same shit in return you said it ran back over there and tried to get back to him right man right. I'm already over this whole situation you know what I'm saying I'm like I didn't even try to do all that bro like, you feel me? I, I was on some cool shit then. Oh, Slim helped me pick up all my shit off the floor. He helped me pick my glasses up. You know what I'm saying? So that's who's helping you when yeah, he was, yeah, you was like, I didn't yeah. mean to do all that. You was mm-hmm. getting, he was helping you with the, yeah. looking for your glasses and your watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, Slim helped but me pick up all my But that's who called stuff. T-Real. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, look, I'm I'm not going to do it because I'm not, I didn't come up here to call niggas out and be all extra. Nah, I'm just saying, just don't put false narratives out on my name after the fact to save face. Cause it ain't a good look. Cause did nobody tell me nothing to intimidate me? Did nobody do? But I seen the move though. After, especially after I watched the interview the night before, you go up there with Forbes and woot, 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 you know what I'm saying? I didn't even know of that. But that was the intent though. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like I don't like the the the, the after shit. Where and then people saying, oh, um, didn't he get into it with his daddy up there? All that shit is false. And shout out to Smack. Shout out to S Mac, the motherfucking goat. Shout out to Smack. You feel shout me? Out to shout Smack. out to Smack. I got hella love for him. Let the you know record reflect. Yeah, shout out to Smack. Yeah. Shout out to Smack. I got hella love for him. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like, just don't go up there and try to save face. You know what I'm saying? Because you didn't threaten me. You didn't tell me a hundred crypt was finna whoop my ass. None of that transpired. And nah, the, the the conversation was very nice, and you helped me pick up my items after the after the little altercation. In mm. fact, he was actually admonishing Kelpie afterwards. He was like getting on Kelpie's helmet. Like, really? Yeah, like you weren't like, why'd you do that? Blah blah. Why'd you go so hard at him? Blah 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 blah. Which is kind of like, which is kind of interesting. Well, bro, you wonder like, but well, bro, disrespect is disrespect. You can't. You are not it. it, it. Two wrongs don't never make a right, bro. You disrespect somebody, bro, and they disrespect you back, bro. Stop acting like you innocent. Stop acting like you the victim, bro. Like, or you ain't play your hand first. You played your hand first, bro. Like, you disrespected him. Like, I'm not trying to defend this man. I don't care if it was, nigga, 
Joe Biden on the interview. If you disrespect Joe Biden, how is he wrong for disrespecting you back? Like, you feel me? Like, it just don't matter, bro. Was he doing that? I just don't like a way hypocrites, man. Like, like, okay, you're putting. If I would have disrespected yeah. little Kelpie, he probably would have called me a bitch too. Nah, yeah. I probably would have did the same thing he did, but I would have never disrespected little Kelpie if he ain't disrespected me. I would have kept the interview interview professional, cordial. Like you disrespected little Kelpie, you feel me? Position to now look like he has to do some shit as your manager, as you know, a reputable dude from his neighborhood, from a mm -hmm. reputable neighborhood, and all that shit. And now it's like you're putting the the focus on him. So if I was ODM Slim, I'd be very irritated in that instance as well. But yeah. especially, it just has a different accent when you see this the the Drinks with Jinx podcast, mm -hmm. which was the day before, and like you see like this this aura of like damn near I want to say and I fuck with ODM Slim but I feel like he was trying to put a battery in bro's yeah, back he put a battery in his back and and I don't know the other dude but they're like yeah I feel like you gotta go up there and talk your shit like we're gonna go up there with force with etc cetera, etc cetera. like for me like we're gonna bring a hundred crips for me like you know what I'm saying I'm just like bro I'm just, hey, I'm just a fly nigga who just maneuver through the streets you know if you have a passion for it, pursue it. I just kind of went for it and I'm here now. With over 68,000 average annual auto technician job openings nation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't acting like I'm some super gangster, you know what I'm saying? But I, once again, I just, we seen the different energy from the interview to in this building. Because everybody thought I was tripping when, they, when I was like, nah, I see the whole antics. Mm -hmm. Everybody like, what? You, you, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. People behind the scenes was like nah like i didn't get that vibe and it's like nah because by the time he got up here he has some new information about some people that, I, that you know what i'm saying we we might both be associated with and that nothing nothing of that could have transpired to where somebody would have saw your appearance in the neighborhood anthem video <laughs> like, <laughs> don't fucking do that <laughs> nah but um well flaco i see you yawning what was your thoughts on the situation i saw you tried to like kind of break up you ran in and tried to break up the situation too nah I Flacco was ODM, cleaning up blood. No, I told the ODM, and like he told me that like he wasn't managing a kid, so anymore. No, no, like he was never like the kid's manager, right? So I ain't see his fat ass run nowhere. He must have been. He must have been sinking in a seat. I ain't see his ass. Like he just like seen the kid had that like big interview with like Sharp. And just thought the kid went out sad, right? So like reached out to offer him some guidance. So some like Big Brother type shit. Yeah, mentor. Yeah. He felt like he was getting bullied and he wanted to come in and yeah, help yeah. out. Yeah. What was the conversation with Kelpie like prior to when you like when you first seen him and you're like, "What's up, bro?" We walk? didn't have one. He so walked right past me. Okay. Yeah. Well, now nah, we didn't have no conversation off camera. Okay. Mm -mm. He walked past me. I was sitting down outside. Nah, he didn't sit into me. And I seen all the Slim sitting in the couch before I was walking inside. So I walked up to him. Walked up to him was bro. Introduced myself, and then we had a conversation. Mm. So now your followers are went up. I've seen the story views is at yeah. like 50, 60 something eyes per day. It's crazy. <laughs> what the pussy like? Dude, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> and we're trying to get the dough. I'm up there. Hey, if y'all ain't seen, we running up. I just want to know what the viral pussy like. So what would you do? I don't know. What would you do if Kelpie's. It's hard. She just asking dumb ass shit, bro. If you want to fuck that nigga and suck his dick, just say that. You been dick sucking a nigga the whole interview. First, first you, I'm, he mangling niggas. Why, ooh, you mangling it? Like, if you want to suck his dick, just say that, bro. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I know what. Call him wet dog. Yeah, yeah. I did call him. I did call him bitches wet dog. Now, now, if, if they, if they Man. happen, if they chose up and wanted to get added to the stable, what would you do at this point? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, just, I just want them bitches to know that them bitches got out. But them bitches look. But them options, them options not. This is probably my last them interview I ever watch. Yeah, for hired? Almighty Suspect, bro. Like, oh, ah, yeah, right. bitches could not. Really, bro? I don't really what fuck with no jumper, bro. Only, only, only person I really fuck with right there is Adam. And kind of uh, Flacco and then that other dude. The fat nigga. Like, like, even though I was joking about him being fat, I still fuck with him, though. Like, he cool. I, I just be making jokes, bro. Like, I don't be trying to insult or bash nobody, bro. Like, I, like I, got, I got a best friend that's fat as hell, bro. I call him fat as hell all the time, too. I'm not trying to bash Flacco or no shit like that. But, um, yeah, Flacco, cool. I forgot the dude that be with Flacco. 
the interview when Flacco got into it with somebody, bro. It was like a dude. They was like his his co-host or something. I don't know, but I fuck with him too. I forgot his name. Probably next time I react to some shit like this, I had his name remember. But yeah. Got the, what, not if they, work. what if they got the juice and pee on deck and yeah, all that? This is not work. Not even. I could just tell by the appearance that they couldn't scrum up enough change to, to go up in a little small pocket in my jeans. In Sheesh. a fucking way. Hell no. They couldn't They couldn't dare. <laughs> How does it feel to be viral? I mean... You, I, you've been on niggas. Album covers. I've been seeing people crazy. tweeting about that's you. I I've been seeing so many verified accounts posting this. You viral. I mean, I wish it could have been for something more positive, but I'll take it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wish it could have been for, hey, but this just show you the where society at. They like negative shit. I've been dropping projects forever and I never went this viral. But you know what I'm saying? Not to say like, damn, that was kind of bad. Not to say my music is shit, because oh God, my <laughs> shit not shit. Oh, but they don't like, clip that. But you feel me? Like, they like negative, you know what I'm saying? Like, majority of society, a fight is going to go up faster than a song is going to go up. Off time. Yeah. Any day. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. If, if if that works, but once again, like yeah, you feel me? Sorry to all the fans, all the staff in here. We ain't trying to do that. We're trying to keep that shit cool. It's a place of business, you know what I'm saying? And y'all won't see that from me again. Yeah, that's the end of the video, y'all. So Yeah, the um So basically that was the aftermath of the situation. Um From no jumper point of view. But yeah, I ain't been, I ain't been like watching them or keeping tabs or none, none like that. I just wanted to do a reaction to this because I did a reaction on the situation uh, when the the fight or whatever transpired. Y'all can see it right here. Um, but so I'm like, let me just do an interview with the aftermath. You feel me? Like you know, why not? But appreciate y'all for watching the video. Thank you all for tuning in with this reaction. Um. Appreciate all the subscribers, all the you know the love that people been giving. Uh, subscribe to my channel again uh, if you haven't yet. Leave a like for this video. Watch out, I'm coming. I got more videos, more reactions, more content. You know, more all of that. So stay tuned. Keep your eyes glued. Turn on post notifications on. I'll see you on the next video. Peace, take care.